to get back into this, the motherfucking knowledge in this motherfucking shit. Like I said, it make it even better if you part of a motherfucking uh, fraternity in this motherfucking shit. Because here's the thing. The initiated ones... When it comes to being initiated, especially if you are a part of an eternity already, right? Or part of a secret, aka not so secret, brotherhood, or uh, if you're a woman that's part of the motherfucking, if you you more in the depths of masonry, not just no simple uh, Eastern star masonry shit and things of that nature. And therefore, right, and with your motherfucking, um, with your intellect, you could be the person who pushed the agenda for the motherfucking shadow government, and you could be used as this motherfucker that create the narrative for the sheep to continue to be binded and being eaten alive, aka population control. It is population control and the many operational variable tactics that they have to go about it, and and that's why people. This would make people not intelligent. This is why this would make me say religious people not intelligent because they don't understand the many operational variables, loopy de holes that they got on the human psyche. So they're they're not able to understand how their dogmatism is one of them, how their literature is one of them. So for the most part. When they don't understand the angle that you're attacking something, that's why I take an archangel, an angle, to give you a thought form from that angle so you can see a horizon out of whatever lower demonic angle that you thought you was in to perceive the world and let you know that your spirit is really lost in a hell, really below, being up under that firmament of all those words and governments and tactics and literature and, lo and latitude and latitude. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are just lost in love. That L word go deep, though. It's a word for your spirit to be binded in. It ain't your spirit. It's, the, it's a shape for your spirit. So they just squared your spirit out and made it try to stand up right. So it's no longer understand invasiveness, indirectness, the well-roundedness of something. It's always trying to pinpoint something to the centerness and never going to find a centerness. So you're never going to find yourself like that until you understand your spirit is no thing, no shape and form. And your individual spirit is your solo spirit, your motherfucking soul. And for the most part, you ain't going to find that. You're just going to find everything that represented the shit you created. So you are the creator, not the motherfucker creation. Teamwork makes the dream work. And it's parameter. We make this parameter possible. So we make all possibilities possible. So for the most part, when you anthropomorphize the concept of all possibilities, you put limitations on God. So you put limitations on yourself and your way of looking at the world. So for the most part, you are wrapped up in Jewish mysticism because you don't understand how to look at things or how to write spaceship to be able to perceive what the fuck the outside of you at the fucking moment. Shout out to the subconscious community and the whole soul group. Now, like I said... <clears throat> So when it comes into if you're already within their brotherhood or you're already within their eastern star or you're more in the depths of it if, as a woman and things of that nature, right? Here's the thing. You could be utilized to push an agenda so that she could continue to be uh, blind, binded and eaten alive, and, a.k.a. population control and the many different operational variables and tactics that they got to go about that motherfucker shit, a.k.a. y'all are mental lab rats. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind also on this motherfucker shit. Now, check this out. Also, now, initiated. What is the concept? The concept of being initiated is finding yourself, finding yourself value in the world, a.k.a. what you have. Now, we're getting beyond anybody right now. We're getting equilibrium right now. So you go under, you go understand it, the initiation energy for yourself and understand what these masons and people who have built the world, their concept of it. So you don't get polar shift into thinking, oh, Archangel Uriel was pseudo. And just by him saying Archangel Uriel, he's pseudo. And then he got to explain that first before I can hear anything else from him. And then for the most part, when I go on Google, because I'm a Google scholar, this is what initiation mean. And it leads me to these books. So for the most part, this is what makes me smart. No, a book don't make you motherfucking smart. You got to have some fucking intelligence and wisdom and knowledge about the motherfucking world around you first. Then therefore, whatever got made out of it from these trees and leaves and books and literature and other man's minds, you'll be able to understand the space that they was in to come up with these lostness ideas. Okay, now look, check this out. Now, the concept of being initiated, finding yourself value in the world, aka what you have to offer to f what you have to offer to the world or give back to the gods, as the Greeks would say. And the Greeks will create a, a ritual and a spell, a tear you down to build you up to make you think that you originally said that and you was the original Egyptians and things of that nature. So now you think the gods is something that y'all used to say, but yet the Greeks created the term God because you know that Hebrew is Greek. 
and you wouldn't even know about Egyptian literature without that and the hieroglyphics. So when uh, when a theologian want to make an argument about the first language being Greek or hot or, or Greek toast or some goddamn shit, here's how they can here's how they can debunk y'all when y'all want to start bringing up the uh, the the Hebrew Bible or things of that nature because we know the Septuagint is a Greek interpretation of the Hebrew Bible, which is a piggybacking off the literature of hieroglyphics and things of that nature. So they're saying the true interpretation is the true language. So this is how they could debunk y'all to say that, no, y'all wasn't the first language. Y'all understanding uh, of it is wrong because the reason why y'all saying it's the first language, y'all using the first language, quote unquote Greek, or and the piggybacking off what Latin is right now, y'all piggybacking off that to say that was the original language where it wasn't a language at all. So this here's how they could debunk y'all and shit like that and y'all get all lost in conscious community type shit and not know what's going on with a, when y'all can't change a theologian's mind. That's another fucking video. But at the same time, you got to understand all of this shit is lostness because the word is just a man making making up a language and coming up with rulership. And when you come up with a language based upon how we're reacting and responding to the, the world outside of us, then you become very esoteric without you knowing you esoteric. And now we got today 2,000 year old arguments and people creating denominations and lostness and, and, and God concepts. Besides that, though, check this out. Like I said, the concept of being initiated, finding yourself value in the world, a.k.a. what you have to what you have to offer to the world and give back to the gods as, quote unquote, what the Greeks would say. Now, throughout the times, there have been many systems, spiritual systems, whatever you want to call it, um, that sheep have used, a.k.a. any type of system or whatever like that was the first formulation of motherfucking demons. Spirits getting lost in de evolved light. Consciousness and forms and ideas and feelings and physical forms to make their spirits feel secure in some type of way or to make their spirits feel satisfied with knowing the external world about shit that they really don't know about because their spirit is lost. A.k.a. like I said, as known as humanity right now. But throughout the times, there have been many systems that sheep have used to formulate or construct a concept or to on what it means to be initiated for or for better words, to be comfortable with yourself and the abilities that you have to create without shame. Now. That's why when you start to get people like Aleister Crowley and things of that nature, a lot of times these, the, a lot of these books and shit like that just be a little crazy shit that be going on in their mind. But the ability that they was in their own space to be free, we all got the ability to be free in our own space and ex express all the things on our minds and feelings. Y'all just don't got no know how to do it. They did it in the way how motherfuckers who was writing the Bible and these old masons and sons of gods and shit was doing that shit. I mean, yeah, the sons of light, my bad. Sons of light was doing that shit. The old masons, what they was calling themselves a couple hundred years ago. The sons of the light fighting the sons of the darkness and shit like that. But for the most part, here's the thing. Y'all, they teach y'all ways of going about that because y'all don't know how to go about that. So you motherfucker get lost in the sauce and don't know, don't understand what's going on. But for the most part, like I said, all of these are motherfucker ways and different constructs and concepts on, um, on how to be comfortable without shame. So when you have a person writing some crazy ass shit, Aleister Crowley probably didn't do 90% of the motherfucker shit y'all heard about that he motherfucking did. But based upon him letting his imagination flourish without shame, this would allow him to be able to be in a position that he's in. Walt Disney, the, the individual who created the Gollum Shakespeare. You know Shakespeare is not an individual. This is an individual who sat back, utilized their uh, poetry, Utilize there was a mason because you know I understand they summoned me to know a lot of this shit. So once I start seeing number numbers and shit based upon their letters, I get a whole different aspect of what I'm looking at. So I ain't have to go to college or nothing. As soon as I start seeing anything about Shakespeare, I start seeing the representation of the number 17. Then that start taking me into other energies of what 17 is used and what's one. And we know how scriptures and verses is, is built if you understand numerology and gematria. We understand one is individuality. We understand seven is being able to see your, whatever you're paying attention to from a higher perspective and be able to see yourself out of it or see yourself a part of it. That's how you become de-evolved light, a lucifer or angel, a, a higher angle up out of whatever shit you was paying attention to that was a lower animalistic desire or nature, six dimensional shit, shit you're paying attention to too much with your masculine and feminine energy, your thought 
fourth dimensional, your ability to give idea and ideas to shit and names and titles to shit around you in the third dimension, and your fifth dimensional energy, that seal, your, feeling, your ability to react and respond to that goddamn shit. So when I start seeing 17 and goddamn shit and things of that nature, I'm like, okay, Shakespeare, the, just the way that they're uh, utilizing his story and shit like that, Shakespeare is a person's idea about his story, not Shakespeare being a person and a person writing about Shakespeare's story. Th uh, this is a person creating a, 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 a idea of themselves. So Shakespeare is an uh, is an author's idea, not a not an author's a uh, story about a person named Shakespeare. Shakespeare is an idea from an author. You see what I'm saying? So if you was in school, if you in college right now, and they're teaching your mind and building your mind to learn about Shakespeare as Shakespeare being an actual person, this the shit I'm talking about. That's the shit I'm talking about. Don't lie to God's people. Stop lying to God's people just because you want people to, to think a certain way and, and, and live a certain way. There's better ways to do that. You don't got to lie for the sake of humanity because you see the majority of humanity being dumb, dead, blind, sheep, and weak and need mental crutches and don't know how to live about themselves. You don't got to come with good ways and play God of the world, fathers and mothers of the world. And it get deep like that, I'm telling you, where shit that ain't harmful where we could we could break down how Shakespeare does help the intellect of people who in college and high school and things of that nature. But then we could but then when you get on my level of intellect and understanding that they summon me to even know all this motherfucking shit. So getting to my understandings and overstandings and shit like that, I still can reach those points. Where it's still bad. That's still bad. You know what I'm saying? I'ma let them know we aware. But at the same time, I just let you know it's shit that deep. That you may not even understand in this motherfucker world. Where shit I see in this motherfucker. But at the same time. Once I start seeing that. I'm like okay I see what the fuck is going on. In this motherfucker shit. But this is about creating a golem. Creating a three a three form system. Letter. Virtue. Principle. Putting a meaning behind it. And pushing it out to the world. Where it's a godly goddess virtue and principle. So all spirits going to gravitate towards it subconsciously. Because we all do this internally anyway. But when you don't know you're doing this internally. And you have another spirit internally esoteric. Externalize it. Do it exoteric. Make it common knowledge. For the most part you gravitate towards it. Even if it don't make sense. Quote unquote cartoons. Walt Disney movies. But you can pull some shit out of it like yeah i be doing that shit every day but it sound like you making up shit and you pseudo you and your imagination no you ain't it's some gravitating you towards that motherfucker shit because this is what you're doing internally and they then took you took that energy away from you and say look if you want to understand yourself come to our shit and then they, they didn't sold life up for sale now life is for sale you better believe it life is for sale now, check this out, right? Now, throughout the many philosophers and wise people lives, their experiences and outcomes always point to a particular virtue and principle and situation that brings certain things out of an individual that has began a path to be initiated. Now, this is for all individuals. So let me repeat this. Throughout the many philosophers out the times and wise people, individuals, their lives and experiences and outcomes always point to particular virtues and principles and situations that bring certain things out of an individual that has be that has began a path of a person that's getting ready to be initiated. So here's the thing. I don't give a fuck if you in a situation and you're still flunked out in their tarot card shit in the world, but you just got cheated on. Or something that you was too lost into your south node or north node and you went through a catastrophic moment in your life and it changed you forever, right? It points you to formulations of what these actual masons went through that they're trying to point to as their concept of being initiated, what I'm trying to break down. So there's certain things we go through in our lives where spiritually we run into esoteric asteroids and meteorites when we're flying in our spaceships, our mentalities, our thoughts and feelings. And when we crash into shit because we thought we could fly through something that was too hard or resistant or, or have a high resistant form of bacteria there. 
aka other spirits with their thoughts and feelings, their archons, archives in that area that goes highly against whatever you're getting ready to bring into that esoteric space. And therefore, that's how you start to feel like you have to bounce back or go somewhere else or you might get destroyed and feel naked in that spiritual space and have to learn how to fend for yourself. Fight or flight type of concepts that you start to create, aka your god and goddess light bodies that you actually start to create in that, in the, in that space because you're in that space having to develop your own thought and feeling with no example ahead of you to actually withstand yourself into that astral astral travel fourth fifth and sixth dimensional wise third dimensional wise new experience now like i said right because you know when you go through a new experience you feel naked that's what the Bible describes, and I told you, anything is talking about men and women is thoughts and feelings. You talk about the Bible in any kind of way, you're going to lose us all. You're going to take us into a 2,000-year-old two, argument. And, and once you understand that, you're going to be like, damn, it ain't no other way to look at it. And then once you understand that, that's when you're going to truly believe. There's only two brains here, and one ain't a brain or a mind. One is a spaceship, and one, and one look like you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, look, but check this out. That ain't it for the live stream, but look, check this out. Now. Throughout the motherfucking many philosophers, right, and wise people lives, these experiences and outcomes always point to particular virtues and, and principles and situations, aka experiences, that bring certain things out of an individual, bring the best out of you too, it bring the, it bring the best out of you, right? Now, here's the thing that ha that begins your initiation path. And with these experiences and these outcomes, we are able to tell through a person actions and their thought process if a person is ready or not. If a person is initiated or not. If a person is bluffing or not. If a person went through what they claim they went through or not. You know how people be out here talking a good game and shit. This how this how the shadow government look at it. Like the quote unquote Illuminati and shit like that. Right. And this is what I be talking about. With the truth seekers, new agers, and, and the conscious community. This is where they fall short. Where they think that they cast casting stones at the shadow government, even the religious people. But they're actually talking about it in the way that the shadow government wants you to talk about it. That's why you get a, a lot of views and a lot of likes. And be able to maintain and receive a lot of residual material and money. Because you're being used... To talk about it in the way they, they already know that. Okay, they created all these kind of concepts. Madam Lebisky, all the way down to Malcolm X. So when you pick one of these video games to play out, they already know what video game, they, they created the video game. They're like, oh, so when somebody want to be rebellious, okay, they, they pick this character. When, when somebody is tired of the government, okay, they pick this character. The vote, let's go vote. When someone is tired of this, they pick this. You know what I'm saying? It's always, they, they play the, it's a video game. You know what I'm saying? You're not understanding that, though. But that's what they do in this motherfucking shit. But here's the thing, right? Based upon your actions and shit like that, right? How you're reacting. Like, if you're highly religious, the more dogmatic you is, the more you talk about this vaccine and all this shit being, being the motherfucking... Um, the, the new fucking mark of the beast, but in the way that you about to say, pull this scripture out and look at the Bible and this is what the mark of the beast means in that kind of aspect, the more that, okay, boom, you about to get a whole bunch of views. You think you talking to, you think you talking against them. You think you talking against Catholicism. No, you about to be the next Joe Olstein. Let's say you a motherfucker in the conscious community. You start talking about, oh, the food is fucked up or this, that, and the third. We all need to come together. We all need to weapon up and shit like that. We all need to do this for this, that, and the third. And, and we all need to boom. All right, boom. You right there where they need you because you they need you for race bait, war bait. Boom. They need you to, to, to get the sheep off the food that they already eaten. I mean, that they already stopped eating and shit like that. And then for the people who dumb dead blind sheep and we can still lost in, lost in their desires, they look at them like they need to feather away and die anyway and keep eating that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be used as an influence to go kill them people for them because the nine times out of ten, the people in the concert community practice witchcraft on people that look just like them. And then for the most part, they going to kill their next door neighbor because they don't believe in their God or they ashalama lil a lot them. And all that shit. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the most part, here's the thing. Then, if you get into the uh, uh, motherfucking circumstance, a true seeker, new age, the, the true seeker shit, they love the true seeker shit because this, this all the, uh, no, the new age. They love the new age shit because this all the love, peace, and light. So they can all uh, teach the new ways of how to love likes. So they're, they're going to be like, oh, new ways of marriage, the new, the new.
the, the truth seeker shit. They love the truth seeker shit because this the, this all the uh no the new age. They love the new age shit because this all the love, peace, and light. So they can all uh teach the new ways of how to love, the new the new ways of marriage, the new the new ways of relationship through these influencers, people that look just like you. And then they already they already know that these people are gonna get psyched up off the views, psyched up off the likes. So they're, they're gonna be like, oh, I can't say nothing or make no video that make a person think that I got my own views. And if I do, I'm just gonna throw it in there a little bit. I'm a Throw it in there, but just throw it in there a little bit, but still, I'm loving light. You know what I'm saying? And then they like they a little, little bit here, a little bit, one foot in, one foot out. Shout out government, love that. They love them kind of people. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now, you'll be able to sell everything in the world. You want to do motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't, ruffle, you don't ruffle no feathers. You don't talk about nobody's religion. You don't talk about nothing. Come up here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Love, all we need to do is love each other and stuff like that. I'm not a medical person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, this va vaccine is harsh. They, they, they throw it in there real quick. Vaccine is harsh. Uh, we all just go to love and, and get information. Boom, you get a million views. You get a million views. Hey, you on your way. You on your way, okay? You on your way. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Get, get, get invited to dinner. Get invited to dinner. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Hearts and lungs. Other than that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the motherfucking uh, uh, truth seeker shit. Oh, they can't wait for the truth seeker shit. They got all kind of military names to get ready to put out. All kind of new politicians that they've been politicians. They've been out doing shit. They just present it now. Let's create new scandals. Who who the new wrestlers now? So everybody who truth seekers, they create new operational variable websites for. Li uh, limited hang limited hangout websites. So they know that the truth seekers be so deep into the web. And a deep web and Alex Alex Jonesy and all that shit. Then they know that oh yeah, we got the perfect website with the perfect dot com and a perfect name that we know these individuals gonna come get in sight. This magic square, all that Q and R. They know it. They know it. They're like, okay, we can't wait. We ain't got to say a thing. We ain't got to say a thing. All we gotta do is put a new scandal, new new sergeant up there. There's some niggas that they eating, eating dinner with already. They, niggas, they already knew for about 10, 15, 20 years already. Yo, Mackenzie, 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 Mackenzie,
Unless you about to talk about the TLC sci-fi channel type shit or some shit that they presented to us for some fake ass person who was in a fake ass crisis in their fucking life and they seen some flunked out shit. Some smiley. The smiley, y'all say, there's some smiley shit. Some shit we watched on Superman. Like, there's some shit. I'll say, I don't know, but you gotta, gotta be careful. Men in black, you gotta be careful. So you only, you don't know what's going on. So you gotta go. The first thing popping in your mind is one of the shits that they created. They, and they own that intellectual property. They get all the esoteric currency. They get all the cosmic currency. Y'all say, co they cosmic ecology's rich. You know what I'm saying? They, they cosmic billionaires and shit like that. You know, they cosmic Iron Mans. You know what I'm saying? A whole, whole Stark community. Stark Foundation. 